Today I'm showing you how to get a roll of 110 film onto a reel, but more importantly, how to get it out of the canister. When I did my review of the Pentax Auto 110, I had a hard time finding any video showing the process of opening the canister, and when I searched the forums, the consensus was, quote, twist and shout. As it turns out, that is the most accurate description I could find. Ehow.com just says to crack it open, but in more than one occasion, including filming for this tutorial, that doesn't always work. We as photographers are visual people, so I hope by showing you the nuances of how I do it, you'll have a, a step up from where I was at when you're in total darkness. For demonstration purposes, I'm using a roll of Orca black and white film by Lomography.com. I wound it to the other end first for accuracy. Okay, so you want to be in total darkness at this point and get a feel for the canister. The larger side with the gears is the side with your film. Place your thumb as deep into the space here as you can and begin to pry apart. You want to twist when you start hearing cracking and pushing your thumb in deeper to prevent the back from snapping at the wrong part. You need as much plastic under your thumb for leverage as possible. Toss aside what you don't need and get a feel for the film. I don't think anyone else does this, but I've always unrolled my film completely before trying to get it onto a reel. It doesn't matter what format. For me, it gives me more control, and if it has a tight curl, it makes it easier to load. I'm using a Yankee Clipper 2 tank, but this will apply if you're using a reel with no ball bearings. First, push the film onto the reel as far as it will go. You might notice I didn't cut the film. This reel is fussy and I haven't noticed much of a difference even if I round the corners. You're gonna alternate between ratcheting with one hand and applying pressure with your thumb on the other. When it gets stuck, just lightly wiggle the structure of the reel and push a little at the feed entrance. Once it's on, feel with your thumb to make sure the end isn't sticking out and you're done. I'm going to be doing a full review of the Yankee Clipper 2 tank in the near future, so watch out for that. And until next time, stay classic.